Good afternoon, everyone here at The Hat and everybody watching online via live stream. And welcome to The Hat 2025 Main Stage Season Announcement. <laughs> Woo! Um, if you don't know, my name is Wesley Colford. I'm the Artistic and Executive Director, and it is such a thrill to be here in person and via stream uh, to talk about some things we've been keeping secret for a very long time, and we can't wait to get out of the bag. Um, we are still not even finished 2024, our 10th anniversary season. Uh, this has been an amazing season, a very, very full season in the first full January to December year since before 2020. So our team has been... Uh, very hard at work, and if I may say so, I think has produced some of our best shows artistically and otherwise. Uh, I'm also very proud to say uh, two of the shows from this season, Mimic Edge, created by Sarah Prosper and Shawnee Paul, and Funny Girl, that you may have seen in May, became our third and fourth most attended shows ever at The Hat. So it's been a very exciting year. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, and I hope we'll be in for just as much in store this next year. Um, we will be announcing today five main stage shows that will take place between January and May of next year. And uh, it's standing to be just as packed and just as exciting. Um, we also have some very important and special ways that you get to benefit by being an early person that pays attention. Uh, and you can save up to 60% on that whole season. So I'll talk about that after, but yeah. <laughs> um, I guess we should talk about some shows. So here we go. And I'm very excited that we've got some really incredible teams attached to these productions as well. Um, first of all, in January, we have an incredibly touching, stimulating, and emotionally brilliant play called Constellations by Nick Payne, directed by Cape Breton's own Alison Crosby, who will be returning home to direct. Um, if you've heard of this play, it's been very popular over the past several years. It's, it's touching, it's funny. Um, it, it deals with uh, advanced particle physics theory, so it's something for everybody. Uh, and it's really gonna be amazing. It's a two-person cast. They're on stage for the whole show, 75 minutes, playing an almost infinite variation of versions of their characters. And we have two very special actors that we've cast for this show, as, as it's the first show coming up far too soon. Um, and I'm thrilled to be welcoming back to Cape Breton, Bria McNeil and Thomas Colford as our cast for Constellations. So we're very, very excited about that. Welcome back, Alison, Thomas, and Bria. Um, Next, we're doing something a little bit unorthodox. We normally have five shows in five months, and because of the 150,000 centimeters of snow we had last February, we've decided to take a little break in February and not try to plan something that we'll have to reschedule in April, but instead to actually plan that we may have a once-in-a-lifetime snowfall for the second or third time. Um, so February will be in deep preparation for everything else in the season, but then in March we have two main stage productions at the very, very beginning and the very, very end, uh, so you'll get lots of hat. The first one is a five-person musical comedy review featuring the songs of the incredible Stephen Sondheim. It's called Putting It Together. Uh, it's a, a really, really, really cool show with songs from shows you'll definitely recognize like Into the Woods and Sweeney Todd and Company, all, all of the best Sondheim shows and some of the best songs. Uh, I'm thrilled to announce it will be directed by the incredible Marc Richard, who directed I Love You, You're Perfect, Now Change, as well as the Sea Shanty Show, two very popular shows here at The Hat. I see some smiles. It will also be music directed by Chris Sugiuchi, who has uh, very recently become a huge part of The Hat as the music director and arranger for Jack the Beanstalk, for Mamma Mia, and coming up this month, Blow Me. So we're very excited to have Chris back as well. Uh, then at the end of March, we get a really exciting play that I was lucky enough to see the world premiere of in London just a little over a year ago. I was blown away by this play, and uh, I immediately inquired to see if the rights were available to see if we could do it as part of our previous season. It was too early. They said, forget about it. We're not letting anyone else do it. It actually was then extended into a West End run for several months, so I understand why they wanted to keep it close. However, this year, I thought, might as well try. We gave them another email, and I'm thrilled to say we will be in March of 2025, 
uh, we will be producing the Canadian premiere of the play called A Mirror by Sam Hallcroft. Uh, that probably means nothing to most of you, but when you see it, it's going to blow your mind. The tagline is, this play is a lie, and that is all I'm going to tell you because there are some really great surprises to come. Uh, and that will be directed by myself, Wesley Colford, with a local cast, and we'll be auditioning uh, for both of those March shows, which we'll be announcing in the next couple of days. So stay tuned for that. Um, then in April, we're thrilled to host a touring production from the incredible Eastern Front Theater in Halifax. This is a play that has been nominated for 12 Robert Merritt Awards. They're remounting it and bringing it to us because it's, it's really amazing. I was lucky enough to see it a couple of years ago. Uh, it is an incredible new work by a Nova Scotian playwright. I'll call it a comedy, but it's got some lovely, sincere aspects as well. But it's very, very funny, very, very fun. It's called Fat Juliet and is by the wonderful Stevie Hunter, directed by Kat McCormick. And uh, some of you may know some of those names. Uh, and I'm thrilled to say we'll be hosting them in April. So check out Fat Juliet. It's going to be really, really great. And then finally, in May... It has become a tradition, as many of you here know, um, about three times a year we do an incredible thing called the Confidential Musical Theatre Project. And several of our biggest hits from these confidentials have gone on to become main stage productions in the coming seasons. Uh, some hits you might remember are Little Shop of Horrors, The Drowsy Chaperone, uh, many others. This year is no exception, and we will be ending this season with a bang, potentially our most ambitious show yet. We will be doing a full main stage production of the hit musical comedy, The Producers by Mel Brooks. Uh, this will be a local cast. Auditions will also be announced in this round that we're about to announce. Uh, and I'm thrilled to say it will be directed by the wonderful Michelle Langille, who directed Jersey Boys most recently. Excellent. Uh, and music directed by the wonderful Kieran McGillivray. So uh, it's going to be an incredible time, a very big show, and a very big way to end the season. Um, we've also, <laughs> speaking of big shows, uh, we have previously announced that this, but uh, we just want to remind everyone we will also be ending the summer in August with a sixth bonus show, which is not included in the packages, but we can save, which I'll talk about in a second. Uh, we will also be doing the Cape Wren premiere of Hairspray, which is another of my favorite musicals. So it's going to be, it's going to be a great summer, and we cannot wait to get going. Um, I promised I'd tell you how you can save, and there's three important ways that, if you have a few more minutes to stick around, I would love to share with you. The the first and best and most important way you can ever support the Hat is to become a Radical Access donor. We have a brand new system, which we are currently uploading everyone into. It should be smoother, slicker, more efficient, and easier for you to use on your own computer as well as any of our staff. If you pledge to at least $25 of donations every month or $300 a year as a one-time donation, we will be gifting you two free tickets to all of our main stage productions as well as some other special surprises as the year goes on. Um, it means that we have a recurring, ongoing, sustainable source of revenue, which is obviously very important for us. You'll end up saving in the long run, which of course we want. And then most importantly, you'll get a tax-deductible charitable receipt for all of those donations at the end of the year. So you help us, you help yourself, and you also help the government by letting them save you money. So it's win-win for everybody. And you can, of course, donate more than $25 a month. We are so grateful to the hundreds of people from around the world that continue to support this program. Um, and not only are you helping us, you and the government, uh, you're also ensuring we can continue to put on all of these incredible productions and secure that they have accessible pricing so that everyone in the community can see them. It supports our pay-what-you-choose nights, which all of the shows I just mentioned will include. We also have free tickets available for every main stage performance for anyone in the community that needs a little extra help, uh, and anyone can call and ask about that as well. So please uh, stay tuned. And uh, if you have anything, any, any capacity to give, it certainly means a lot. And, and it's certainly something that we definitely need at this moment as things are increasingly expensive, as everybody knows, I'm sure. Um, the second thing, which is uh, something we reintroduced last year and has been really successful, is, of course, the five play ticket package. And I'm thrilled to say, uh, for the five main stage productions we just announced, if you buy them individually, it would be $171 plus tax. We're offering a ticket package for five for 75. 
It's a gold flex package. You'll save almost 60%, and it's, it's the best way to make sure you can see everything, unless, of course, you're a radical access donor. It makes a great gift. You can buy as many as you want, and uh, it makes sure that you don't miss anything, including anything that you might not realize you love until you see it. But that's not all. We have also brought back by popular demand the holiday gift package. So if you buy two or more regular priced gold flex packages, or if you're a radical access donor at the $25 level or up, you have the option to buy two more packages at $50 each to give to someone who has never been to the HAP before. If you have a friend that needs an extra lift, maybe you have uh, a newlywed couple in your life that uh, about 30, less than 30% of what the full price is. So it's, it's ridiculous, but we want people to take advantage of that. So uh, please keep that in mind during your holiday giving. We'll have a beautiful brochure that will be out next week if Canada Post doesn't strike. Uh, and it'll give all that information again. But you can also check out the website. I'll be posting a link later today with everything in a compact, beautifully designed format. If you have any questions, feel free to give us a call or give us an email. I hope you check out our brand new website. It is absolutely beautiful, designed by the wonderful Thomas Colford, our communications director. And uh, again, it should make your lives better. Hopefully it'll make our lives better once it's all set up. And uh, it really does look like a million dollars. So check that out if you have any questions. Um, I have to give a huge thanks to our staff. Uh, many of us, in fact, all of us all the time are working incredibly hard to put all these productions uh, out into the universe for you guys to enjoy. Um, but especially the last couple of months as we've been switching to this new system, a few people have been just working night and day trying to figure it out and make sure that everything that we announced happens smoothly and can roll out with ease. Uh, and I want to give a huge shout out to Adriana Henson, our general manager, who has been instrumental in that process. <laughs> Um, I also have to thank, again, Thomas Colford, our communications director, who, again, has been the number one person on the website design, on setting up events on so many of these projects, um, above and beyond all the regular duties. And then also our brand new patron services manager, Kirsten Penny, who jumped in right in the middle of all of these things. We're so thrilled for this, this amazing team. Um, that's everything I'm going to say today. I open it to the floor. Is there any questions from anyone who's joining us in person? And then I'll, I'll quickly check the comments to see if, if there's anything else. But uh, thank you so much if you have tuned in and if you've come here in person. It means so much to be able to share these things with you. I cannot wait for Cape Breton to discover the magic of all of these productions about stars, star-crossed lovers, and uh, I think you're going to find a new star yourself. So we cannot wait. Are there any questions? Woo, that's a great question. <laughs> For those who may not have heard, the question was, sounds like a great season. Um, I'll just quickly check to see if there's any comments, but um, maybe we'll answer those in the comments because I have recently become immune to technology and cannot figure out how to get out of this. Um, someone, oh, will you be continuing the $5 movie nights? That's a great question. So we will have $5 movie nights at this point because we've been very focused trying to get the main stage season. Uh, we don't have anything to announce today. We likely will not have as many because it was a lot this year and it was a lot of fun, but it was a lot of work. Um, but certainly the classic movie nights is something we'll continue um, in some degree. Certainly uh, we have our big uh, holiday festival coming up just before Christmas. We've got all kinds of Christmas classics you can check out. And in, 25, in 2025, we'll be announcing very soon. Thank you, Bernice. Great question. I think that's everything. So without further ado... Thank you very much. Uh, feel free to stick around if you have anything you want to ask in a less public format. And uh, thank you again for joining us and listening. And welcome to HAT 2025. I can't wait. See you at the HAT. <laughs>